Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2022 video tutorial. It's an old exercise, a nice exercise for 3D sketches or wireframe geometry. I don't recall if I did it already in SolidWorks before. Anyway, now it would be in HD and with audio commentary. Please note, you could do this exercise, of course, with two sorry with 2d sketches only there's no need to do it with 3d sketches but it's an exercise let's take a look at the drawing okay here's the drawing you can make a screenshot and then follow the exercise step by step so let's have fun with SolidWorks Okay, first I want to create two reference planes. So one plane should be parallel to the front plane and the distance should be 470 mm. Let's confirm this. Then make sure nothing's selected. Go for another plane and that should be parallel to the top plane and that distance might be 240 mm. Let's confirm this one as well. Then I need a point and maybe an axis, so let's go for an axis. That axis should be the intersection curve between the front and the right plane. Yeah, so plane 6 is still there, so let's clear the selection. Go for two planes, that's okay, and that would be this plane and that plane. And confirm, and I could use another one over here, so I can go for another axis. So go for an axis, again go for two planes, and select that plane and this plane. I did this just for convenience. Okay, now my first 3D sketch needs a point, so let's go for a sketch, go for a 3D sketch and I want to have a point put it somewhere and then I can go for the coordinates so this should be 80 in X 0 in Y and 0 in Z and fix that point and confirm now I can draw a line from the origin to that point, okay? And then I need another line which goes up and it's inside that front plane. Okay, put it right there. Now, this point should be on that plane. So select the plane, select the point, and make it on plane and confirm. Now I want to use a dimension and that dimension should be between this axis and that line and that would be of course an angle and that angle should be 5 degrees and confirm. and move that dimension up here. Now I can go for a fillet. I want it to be dimensioned, yes, and that fillet should have a radius of 60 millimeter. And that should be between those two lines. And confirm. And finish and finish that 3D sketch. Now I can make a surface extrude with that sketch. So go for an extrude. Select this one here. It will propagate in tangency. And this should go up to a surface, in this case to that plane. And I will need a direction. 
and the direction should be normal to this plane here. And it should go up to that plane. And confirm. Nice. Now for the next 3D sketch, I will need an arc, so let's go for another 3D sketch and select that plane here and go for an arc, three point arc. Let's draw it right there, maybe like that. Let's take a look at if it's oriented the right way because sometimes that's hard to see. This looks okay. And let's move this a little bit down. Add two construction lines from the center to this point. Make it a construction line. And then another one from that center point to this end point. And again, it should be a construction line. Now, this should be of course, be aligned to, let's take a look, that axis here. So let's select those two, like that, and go for collinear. Then this point should be put onto that origin point. Coincident, okay. Now add a radius, that radius should be 60, and an angle, and that angle, try to select, you could select the axis or that line, so let's go here and see if we can select it, oh, that's sometimes a little bit hard to see and do. That's the one. And that angle should be 90 minus 30. That would be 60 degrees if it's on this side. And I think it's on the other side. So this angle should be 90 minus 10. And that would be 80 degrees. Okay, then I will need a line which starts here, goes, yeah, go for line, starts here, goes up, it's also aligned to that plane, maybe like that. Then this point should be in that plane here, the upper one. Make on plane. Confirm. And add an angle between this line and that line or that axis. Whatever you want. I want to go for that axis. And that angle should be 10 degrees. You could also go for tangency between this line and that arc. But I wanted to do it in all programs as similar as possible. So let's leave that 3D sketch. Now I will need an arc on that plane somehow. So let's go for another 3D sketch. Select this plane here and the arc is again a th I want to go for a three point arc you could go for a circle maybe but a three point arc would be better in this case I suppose so go for that three point arc and put it somewhere up here maybe like that now I want to put this point onto that point here and therefore I might have to convert entities. 
So let's see if we can just select the point. Uh, not possible. So I could go for that edge or this edge. Whatever you want. Let's go for this one. Confirm. Select it and make it for construction only. Then I could put this point onto that point here. Coincident. Confirm. And then I want to align those three points, this point, that point, and the center point, along the x-axis. So, I could also put them into that plane. Whatever you want. So, this one and that one should be along the x-axis. And this one and that one should be also along the x-axis, which gives me that nice half circle here. Then go for a smart dimension and make this radius 50. Now I want to draw a line from this point to that arc and then it this should be a tangent to that arc. So let's go for a line. I can select that point, select that arc, confirm, and now make it tangent. So select this line, select this arc, and go for tangency. Confirm, and now I can trim. So let's go for trim, and I want to trim this segment of the arc. Confirm leave that sketch. And now I can make a lofted surface right there. So, let's see, is the front plane I want to... that's this sketch, that sketch, that's okay. That one should be hidden. And I want to select the edges of that surface. Maybe hide the front plane at least for the moment. So it's easier to, easier to select that edge here. Now go for a lofted surface. And one of the profiles should be that sketch here. That's the start. And the second one should be here that edge. And maybe go for the selection manager and this should be a group, of course, yes, selected. Then it should be propagated in tangency and confirm. Nice. Now add that guide curve here. And that's the end constraint. And the end constraint should be tangent to that surface, to that face here. And is there a merge here? I could merge it as well. But let's just confirm this. Which gives me two surface bodies. That's okay. Now I want to do the same, very similar thing on this side. Okay, the next 3D sketch should be the profile on this plane somehow. So let's go for another 3D sketch. Select that plane, so it will be inside that plane. Go for another three-point arc, and this could look something like this here, like that, yes. Add two construction lines. Yes, I know. Make this one construction line, that one a construction line. Add an angle or first maybe put this point onto that point here. That Therefore I will have to convert entities. Let's go for this edge. Confirm. Make this for construction only. 
and then put this projected point onto this one. Coincident, okay. Then make this one aligned with that axis here. Collinear. And I will need an angle and a radius. So the radius should be six, come on, smart dimension, should be 60. And that angle here should be 60 minus 30, uh, 90 minus 30, and that would be 60 degrees. And confirm. Let's draw a line. That line should start at that point, should go up. And this point should be on that plane here. And I want to do it again with an angle. You could go for tangency here. So go for smart dimension, make it between that sketch line and that one here, and this should be 30 degrees. Confirm, leave that sketch. Now I need another 3D sketch, and this is somehow located on that plane. So go for another 3D sketch. And now I want to have an arc, and that arc should be on this plane. So I select that plane and go for another three point arc. And let's come on, let's put it somewhere over here, maybe like that. Okay, now I want to align those along the x axis the direction of the x-axis, so, so let's select this point and that point and maybe the center point as well and go along x. Confirm. Then I need to bring in here that point. So therefore I will have to bring in that edge here, so let's go for Convert Entities, select this Edge, Confirm, make it for construction only, and then put those two points on top on one another with a coincident constraint. Nice. And Confirm, and let's add a Smart Dimension here, and this should be 50 millimeter. And confirm. Now I want to add that tangent line from the, this point here to that circle and maybe hide those planes. So go here and hide all planes. And now let's go for that line. Yes, should start here and go to that arc. Escape and now make those two tangent. like that, confirm, this looks good, and now I can trim. So go for the trim and select the segment which you want to remove. Didn't work because that was not active, now it's active, and confirm, and this is not constrained, fully constrained, that's interesting. Oh yeah, I've lost somehow. No, I didn't lose, but I have to make this tangent here or align once again those two points because I've selected those three points and I've lost that alignment. So this one here and that one should be 
along the x direction and then it's fully constrained. Now leave that sketch and now I can go for a second lofted surface. So go for lofted surface. One profile would be this one here and the other one would be the edge of that surface. <laughs> That's nice. So you should make sure that you select it uh, similar. Let's remove this one and go for so the selection manager, go for the group selected here, then make it tangent continuous here and confirm. And that's kind of odd because this should be like that. Yeah, happens. Go for the guide curve. That would be this one here. Yes. And this was the second one, so it's the end constraint. And go for 10, you can see two phase. Confirm. Nice. Let's hide all the sketches. Let's see where's the symbol. That's, these are the sketches. And so a symbol for the axis. Let's hide those axes. This one and that one. And that 3D sketch is still visible. Is another one visible? Now knit those surfaces. This one, that one, and this one. And confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Instagram and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.